Welcome to our Energy Connect studio at Edipec 2022. I'm delighted to have sitting next to me Steve Finnemister, Managing Director of Petroleum Development Oman. Thank you so much for taking the time out of the first day of Edipec. Thank you for having me. Good to be here. Now, how is PDO looking to maximise production while minimising greenhouse gas emissions? Now, the, the $64 million question yes. <laughs> that we're here at Edipec for, of course. Um, so we have uh, a clear role in Oman, obviously, um, and we've had for decades and will go on for decades producing oil and gas, producing revenue and, and wealth, jobs and sustainable jobs for the, uh, for the country. And our core business is in oil and gas. So that's what we will go on doing. Um, but of course, we know that that needs to be not only a secure uh, supply of hydrocarbons, but also needs to be affordable and needs to be sustainable. Yes. So we work very um, hard together as a whole team ensure that our, our hydrocarbon production is cost competitive. This is the first and foremost thing. That's about the affordability of our product, ensuring that it's competitive and we can maximize return to the country. But recently, of course, it's also about how sustainable is it? Yeah. And, and so we work also equally hard on our own emission base. And we have defined a decarbonization roadmap for okay. our business. Uh, and that roadmap allows us to go on producing and, and growing our hydrocarbon products but doing that in a sustainable fashion whilst minimizing our emissions. Great, Stephen. Could you just go into a bit more detail about your decarbonization roadmap with maybe some of your um, milestones you're trying to achieve? Um, yeah, for sure. So some time ago, almost a year ago now, we set ourselves an objective in, okay. in PDO um, to achieve what we would call net zero emission by okay. 2050, which is, of course, largely aligned with most players globally yeah. and after Paris. It's also now very much in line with His Majesty's uh, uh, Royal Decree of a net zero in Amman by 2050. Ah, okay. Um, and at the moment in Amman, we're putting together sectoral plans, mm -hmm. including in energy and oil and gas, for how we'll achieve that objective. We've also got an interim target within PDO to halve our emissions by 2030, which is an aggressive, yes. uh, ambitious plan. Um, but we do that by putting together what we call a roadmap. And that roadmap is essentially a way in which we can reduce our emissions through reducing our energy demand. So first of all, efficiency in, in producing hydrocarbons. We're also working hard on flaring. So we've signed up to the World Bank routine flaring reduction. Mm -hmm. and we will achieve zero routine flaring by 2027 20, before the 2030 target. We also signed up to the, the UN World Methane Partnership 2.0. So in terms of emissions of methane and flaring of gas, together with energy efficiency, which means we burn less yeah. of our hydrocarbons, we will bring down our emissions. But most of our emissions come from actually producing power and, right. and, or burning gas principally to produce power. And so what we're doing there is we're now also investing in renewable power. What? So we already have about 10% of our power, own power generation is from renewables, mm -hmm. from solar. Yeah. And we're going to increase that by the 2030 to, I hope, 50% of our power consumption will come from renewable sources in wind and solar. And we have projects planned uh, in order to do that. Oh, interesting. And are you looking to work with partners in some of these renewable energy projects or, you know, in-house? Absolutely. So, so we, we produce our own power yeah. uh, currently. Uh, and we will go on doing so because a lot of that is integrated in our yeah. own asset system. But we also have standalone power generation. We already have 100 megawatts of solar power at Amin, uh, first of its type in a month. But we will continue to work with partners in independent power projects right. uh, and with those who wish um, to bring uh, renewable power, so for hydrogen purposes, green hydrogen, so that we can maximize our own renewable power. So maximize our energy, but minimize our emissions. Interesting. And obviously, I mean, technology, we're here at Adipet, but you know, how much of that is helping PDO um, achieve these results and what you're looking forward to? I mean, what, are you, what, what technologies are you sort of working around? We have an extensive technology program, yeah. as you'd expect. And um, in, in PDO, um, we're kind of blessed with a, a variety, a myriad of production types. So we have what we call primary and secondary and tertiary production, which is uh, a complex portfolio. Um, but we've employed a lot of technologies uh, in the subsurface, also in, in wells and in our production facilities. Mm. Uh, we're extensively trialing, trialing new technologies okay. uh, in gas turbine technology for efficiency, 
hydrogen firing of boilers. We have concentrated solar for generation of steam in our steam flood. Uh, on the produced water side, um, we're using polymer extensively, which dramatically reduces yeah. the amount of water we produce with the oil. And therefore, we don't have to do high energy intensive disposal of water. We also have investments in two major reed beds, mm -hmm. which um, also process our water and clean that up. And we want to use that water now also yeah. in, uh, in saline ag uh, agriculture, mm -hmm. so development of nature-based solutions. And our, our new strategy not only looks to optimize and maximize hydrocarbon production, but we'll also start now to move into a number of adjacencies that we call adjacencies. So what we're talking about there is some low carbon fuels such as blue hydrogen yep. um, generated from natural gas. So again, technological uh, development, but also CCS, carbon capture mm -hmm. storage, and associated with that enhanced oil and enhanced gas recovery. So an extensive array of, yes. of technologies that we're employing in order not only to maximize the efficiency and minimize the emissions of oil and gas production, but also move into the new energy space. That's really interesting to hear, Stephen. Obviously, there's a bit a milestone this year. Um, you know, PDO celebrates its 85th anniversary. Uh, a, a lot to celebrate, but also, and you touched on a bit there, exciting time for the future for PDO. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And it, I always say to the team, you know, this is a time of massive change. Uh, there's a lot going on around us, both in Oman and the region, but also obviously globally. But as with the eight, in our 85th year, it's a very exciting time. We had a big celebration okay. for that this year principally celebrating our people and the team. Mm -hmm. um, we have a highly competent organization mm -hmm. with nearly 9,000 staff and 60 to 70,000 contractors working with us in PDO. So a highly competent, capable yeah. team. And of course, they're all interested as well in what the future looks like. Yeah. So, you know, our strategy built around being cost and carbon competitive yeah. and developing a differentiated portfolio and extending into new energies, whether it's hydrogen or CCS. That's an exciting proposition for our people. Yeah. And we can also not only transition our assets, but then transition ourselves, our skills and our capabilities. And that, that's what people want to hear about. That's what they want to be a part of. We, we know what we have to do. We know, we know what our bread and butter looks like. Yeah. And we will go on sustaining revenues to the nation through poor oil and gas in a sustainable, abated fashion. But we'll also grow into new value chains. And that excites people to be a part of that new, yes. that new future. Well, Steve, that's really great to hear and all the best for that. And uh, I just, just want to thank you for popping down at Energy Connect Studio at Adifet 2022. My pleasure. Good to see you. Thank you. See you.